Yeah, what up guys and welcome back to another one. Y'all have been loving the Pigeon Loft videos and I love them too. It's been a dream of mine to get my own Pigeon Loft in the backyard. And here she is in all her glory. I do have to get a new lock situation on the door here, but other than that, she's good to go. Here they are just to hanging out. As a lot of you seen in the last video, we threw a band on one of, oh, on that guy right there. See his leg? We threw a little red zip tie on his leg because we do know he is a male. If y'all can help me somehow identify male and female here or tell me how to, it would be great because we need to be doing a lot more banding in here just so we know what is what. But today we are going to go get some grit, some dirt, some pebbles, basically some grit, sand. Basically I'm learning more and more and more the farther we get into having this loft and I need some sand and grit on the bottom. Pigeons use sand in their gullet to grind up their food so all the grains we're feeding them, I didn't know, but we need some grit down there. So they get in their gullet, it just helps grind stuff up. Good for digestion. So basically I just want to cover most of the ground in here. It's only, I don't know, four by four. So these guys can better digest their food. There's our old chief king up there. He kind of rules the roost, I'll tell you right now. It is apparent. So we got to go check the pigeon traps because I put them out this morning. I rebaited them the whole nine yards at the truck stop. I guarantee you we probably have something in there. But before we get on the road, I got to show you all the July Ducks t-shirt of the month. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy right there. Got the old American flag with some ducks flying in it. I mean, how better can it get? Yeah, the July Ducks t-shirt of the month is saucy. I know, I know. But the Ducks t-shirt of the month, what it is, is you get a t-shirt, a one-off t-shirt. They're saucy. They are casual t-shirts that you can wear out to dinner with your woman. You get them in the mail once every month and they are one-off. We don't sell these on the site. They are for the member subscribers only. And whoever buys a Ducks t-shirt of the month at the end of the season, the duck hunting season that is, we're giving away an Excel boat. I'll have it here in about a week, hopefully. But I will link the Ducks t-shirt of the month down at the top of the description. Go check it out. Well, nothing today. Let's check them out, see if anything messed with them at all. Boy, look at that. Look at that. We had some action here. We got some feathers around the old spring trap here. Actually, I have a feather up in the spring trap too. Huh, that's interesting right there. And then over to the old mansion. Look at that. You can tell how much they've been here. You can see they just walk around this cage like a track. Look at this. All this gravel here is lined up perfectly. They're just making a trail around it. And the reason why is because we still got all that weed in there and they want it. They know what's in there. And they know that this is the only place they can get it. But first off, we need to go do some looking around. This is what I was afraid of. Look, 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 look. That's a wheat pile. We're gonna have to clean it up. That's another wheat pile. We're gonna definitely gonna have to clean those up. Like earlier, eliminating the food sources for trapping is key. And these birds want nothing more than wheat. That is the primary thing that they want. <laughs> I am sweating my booty off. That's a bad thing about trucks coming through here and dropping piles of wheat. If it's beans, if it's corn, if it's something like that, it doesn't really matter. But right now, if it's wheat, it matters. You have to go and clean it all up. Because if you don't, you are not gonna draw them over to the trap at all. So check it out, we cleaned up this whole pile here. Got it pretty cleaned up. One of you in one of the last videos recommended that I get a leaf blower. And I think that would be a great idea. I'm gonna see about doing that. And then this was a huge pile. We got it mostly cleaned up. I've been kicking it around more and more but check it out we got a fresh pile of beans another fresh pile of beans and a huge fresh pile of beans and so what I did right here check it out I put in some wheat I put in some beans and check it out we got little rocks in there tons of little grit it's like the perfect food right there but I am gonna scavenge up some more grit this is good stuff right here those little itty bitty rocks that's some good stuff well there we go just like that right there this is the only other container i had <laughs> a glass container in the bed of my truck but that's all grit and dirt 
do a little bit at a time. Jordan was like, you need a little bit of grit and dirt in there. You don't have to completely coat the bottom floor, but you need to have some in there in case they need it, when they need it. And alrighty, we're back at the house. We got our grit, check it out. I'm always scared about opening this door that these guys are just gonna come busting out on me. Look at them, they're all chilling. They're all pretty darn comfy today. But we're gonna go I'm put all this grit down here then we'll smooth it out here in a little bit easy dude easy now we're gonna smooth all this out here there we go they'll love that and while we're here we're gonna try some of our new food concoction we got some rocks some wheat some beans some dirt all the good stuff Put a couple handfuls of it in there for them. See how they like that. I bet you anything they don't really eat the beans up. But we shall find out. Let's go back to the old truck stop and see if we got us a pigeon. Well, pigeons are dropping in. I mean, insane. They're just coming from the north, from in town like crazy. I will be getting a bigger lens here shortly so we can zoom in on these puppies. But man, these pigeons, uh, they know where that weed is and it is insane how many of them rush to the trap now and they stay right by that trap, trying to slip their heads in there, trying to get them another piece of wheat, you know what I mean? So we've been trapping these pigeons and baiting these pigeons in the one spot now for over a week. We've been, we've actually been trapping the truck stop in general uh, for almost three weeks probably right at three weeks but we haven't moved the trap for over a week and that is helping so much you just keep rebating the trap you leave it exactly where it is so every night I pick it up the next day I bring it back I have it marked right where I want to put it and it's right on top of that wheat pile and the birds know that's the only place that they're gonna get wheat so that trap it's just became another structure that they're used to. So today might be a good day. Beans now, I can get them populated in one small, small little area. What's your guys' thoughts? I know, it's crazy. What's your guys' thoughts of putting lay down blinds as close as you can to them and throwing a net over them or something, you know? Cause if you can get 20 to 30 pigeons in one little area, literal, literally two foot by two foot area, you would think that there's a way that you could get up close to them and net them in a mass amount. If you guys have any ideas about that, you got to drop a comment down below and let me know what would work. Well, I just got a good idea and I got to do it. We're just going to bump these birds out of here real quick. Go on, go on. So really fast, like we're going to throw the GoPro out there and I have a good idea. It's what Jordan actually taught me tuning the trap. We're gonna tune her up here. I'm watching these birds and they do not, they don't wanna go all the way in here for some reason. He said these bars here, you can bend them up a little bit, give them a little more room to get in there. So that's what we're gonna do on either side. We're gonna bend these inner bars up just a little bit give them some room to get in there hopefully that'll help basically Jordan was like dude if you're sitting there watching that trap he was like I have those wires bent down so much so they can't get out he was like because it used to be when he was trapping them he could only check them once a day but with us sitting here watching them you can get to them really fast. So he was like, on the days that you can literally sit there and watch them, he was like, bend them bad boys up so it's easier for them to get in. If you know you're gonna be gone for you know a handful of hours or two or three hours, he was like, put them back where I had them because then it doesn't allow them to even think about getting out. So the plot thickens. <laughs> so we retune the trap up and these pigeons are wanting to come over here, basically by where they park all the trucks and trailers. And look what we have. We have one really big pile of wheat there. Then we got another pile of wheat here. There's always two piles, y'all, because there's always two hoppers on every trailer. You dump one, you dump the other right where you sit. 
So quickly, I'm understanding and learning that I need to have a shot broom and a big old dust pan and a lot more buckets, a lot more buckets, because I'm gonna end up becoming the janitor out here in the old parking lot. That's what this gonna be. Well, this is what I've been having to do is use my hands for now, but you better bet your bottom dollar that I am gonna have me a broom and a dust pan and a leaf blower. I'll have all three. Dead turtle, nasty. But this is also really good feed here. We're not only picking it up for the trapping purposes, but we can also use this at home and to bait the traps. We can use it to feed the birds in the loft at home and we use it on the traps that we set here. Well, it is the next morning. And yesterday evening, I came out to give one final check on the traps and uh, I found this right here. Oh yeah, check it out. The biggest wheat pile that you ever done seen in your entire life. Literally, yeah, it's very deep. That's a lot of wheat there, which is good and bad. It's bad because we're right next to the traps. Today I brought a bunch of extra buckets. Yeah. And today I brought a shovel. Look at me, I got smarter. And we also brought old Frederick because it's a nice morning. It's extremely cool out. Not too hot for him to be in the back of the truck. Come on, buddy. Well, I've been out here working my booty off. Check it out, got the big pile mostly cleaned up. Still have a little bit to do yet. Got another pile here that I need to pick up. And then while I'm over here shoveling my butt off, you seen the semi truck pull up, right? Uh, he dropped a pile there. And a pile there. Just, just doing his job. I get it, I get it. But this is part of the trapping, man, is cleaning up the piles of wheat around the trucking parking lot here it is uh it, it's, it's a task i mean that's the hard part about this if i didn't clean it up we would not have luck trapping in our one particular spot down yonder just wouldn't work and i know that and, and i'm actually pretty afraid that this is gonna mess it up as a lot of you know kansas we're known for our wheat harvest uh and this is all semi trucks that are hauling wheat right now so I can imagine since harvest has ramped up here within the last week and it's probably at its peak right now and it'll probably quit here pretty soon, I can imagine that it's not going to get any better anytime soon, especially within the next week. It'll probably, probably keep just like this all summer, just wheat getting dropped everywhere. But check it out. We got a lot of wheat to take home. We got four buckets full right here. We have to go fill up our grit jar again. Had to put poor old Fred in his kennel because there's too many trucks driving around. And then like I said, we still got that little pile to pick up there and we have this bucket that's almost full. And one really good thing about this is we're gonna have feed for days. I've been actually wanting to start some feed bins. You know, I'm gonna go get some uh, rubber trash cans pretty much with some lids on them or just see what I have at home. But I wanted to get a stockpile of feed going, especially for this winter, you know what I mean? But all the wheat that I couldn't haul out, I put in here. Literally our trap is completely full of wheat. So we are back at the house here and I have been sweating my booty off. There is a storm on the way. The wind shut off and it is humid out. I mean humid. But check this out. I got something to show y'all. Check out how much wheat we got in that bad boy. That is a 55 gallon trash can and it's basically full of nothing but wheat. Whoa, Bubba, you got a big frog, dude. That's a big one. Where'd you get him? In the outside. You got him over by the pigeon loft outside? Oh, and you got a water gun. Cool, dude. <laughs> 
Now guys, when winter hits, I'm not just gonna be feeding them wheat. That's why we got cracked corn, we got whole corn, we got wheat, we got soybeans, and I'm gonna be getting some protein pellets. I've been hearing about a protein pellet that you blend in the feed that's really good for reproduction, mating. You know what I mean, especially in the winter because they need that good hearty protein to keep them warm, to keep them going, to keep them reproducing in the winter time. But you guys have seen the entire loft now. If you guys think I need anything, anything I don't have already. See back here, we got these two breeding rooms. This is where they can come back here, breed some babies, get it all done back here. Yep, pretty nice little setup. But if there's anything I need to do to the loft, please, please drop a comment down below and let me know. Whatever it is, homemade water feeder. I think we're going to do that one. So if you guys have any type of homemade feeder, homemade water feeder ideas, maybe some interior lights, anything that you guys might do on your pigeon loft, drop a comment down below and let your boy know. What are you going to do with that thing, man? I know it's a baby frog, but what are you going to do with it, man? I don't know, but we don't. Oh, you're going to let him go? Good boy. But I know we didn't trap a pigeon today. It's been getting harder. The more wheat at the truck stop, the harder it's going to be. I'm really kind of worried about all the piles of wheat that are showing up in the truck stop. It's literally just going to get harder and harder to trap these birds. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoy the pigeon loft. Finally, we got it up and running. Big shout out to Jordan. If you haven't subscribed, you guys need to. We're coming at you with almost daily uploads. I think I've went daily the last seven days, last whole week. It's been daily uploads. So, but we will see y'all on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real